This is this week's fly. It's called the Stuart Spider. It was first written about in 1857 uh, in a book called The Practical Angler by W.C. Stewart. The fly itself was apparently developed by an angler by the name of uh, Bailey. This has been a very effective pattern for me. Uh, I've caught quite a few fish on it. I generally fish it upstream like a dry fly and just try my best to keep contact with it. I also tie this in a purple version. And now let's get into the tools and materials. This is the hook we used. It's a Dohaiku 301 in a 16. A nice hook. And we've got uh, brown Pearsall silk. Strangely enough, the brown Pearsall's <laughs> is used on the black spider. Uh, it, it does come out pretty dark when you get it wet, so maybe that's the excuse for it. I'm sure he was able to get black thread as well. If you can't find the Pearsall's brown, you can try these other threads. They're uh, available today. The Pearsall's is very difficult to find. The Superior Threads Kimono Silk Thread and YLI Silk Thread. And scissors, hackle tweezers, regular tweezers, craft knife, whip finisher, and starling from Blue Ribbon Flies. And now let's tie the fly. I'm about to tie the Stuart Spider, showing you the part on the starling skin where I like to take the hackles for this fly right in there is pretty good. Now, if I want to tie some really small flies, I'll use these on the, on the head of the starling. There's some really tiny hackles in there. This is the way I prepare the, the hackle. Strip off most of the downy part. And you can see what I've got there. So starting the thread, go back five or six turns and go back forward till you're just a, a little bit shy of the eye of the hook. Trim it off. Tie in the hackle with the concave side towards the bend of the hook. This is a fairly critical part. And then wrap to about, oh, halfway down the hook shank or maybe a little less. Be sure and break the bonds between the barbules. Makes it easier to wrap. Hackle tweezers. Go one time around, and then the next time close again, and then palm her back. I usually only get two or three wraps back behind. Tie that off and then start to wiggle the thread back through the fly towards the head. Be careful with this. This is kind of a critical thing. Once you get past all of the hackles, smooth them back just a touch. Start tying in the head, just a few wraps. You don't need many. And then with the whip finisher, go ahead and give it two or three turns. I very rarely use any kind of head cement. My solution is just to tie two flies.
If you look closely, you can see the end of the hackle there. So I'm going to go in with the tweezers, pull that off successfully, and there's your Stuart Spider.